Hey, what's going on guys? So, um, today we're going to have a little bit of a, a round robin of React. You get it? Round robin of React? Anyhow, bad jokes aside, <laughs> alliteration, bad alliteration aside, uh, I want to say thank you to our next sponsor, Steven Greider, who, uh, has been, who is a very successful uh, course creator on Udemy. He will be uh, donating a single copy of each one of his courses, which is 11 in total. Uh, most of them are React focus. Uh, and at, as I've discussed, and we're gonna discuss in this video, I'm, I'm beginning my React journey moving forward. But uh, 11 courses, 35,000 reviews, 83,000 students. It doesn't really get much better than that. He's got a 4.7 rating. All his courses are you know, 4.5, 4.7 on average, I guess. Uh, before so um, every Monday Wednesday and Friday if you guys want some react courses or one of these courses I should say starting with this video by the way modern react with Redux we'll go ahead we'll get started with his most common course uh, that is uh, the one that we will be giving away in this video to a lucky winner who uh, all you have to do is say uh, react and like the video that's that's kind of the the the, the catch so let's talk a little bit about React. And again, thank you to Steven who's doing that because that's really cool, right? Um, yesterday, or t I guess it was yesterday, I kind of uh, discussed how I was planning on learning React, React Redux, and React Native, and what was on my mind. And just to kind of rehash that in case you didn't watch it, I am enrolling in, it starts on the 24th or the 25th of this month, the nano degree program over at Udacity. Udacity for a while has had these nano degree programs and I've really wanted to do one for a while and the React.js one had caught me. It's a $500 flat rate. Uh, it's expected to take four months at 12 hours a week. So there's quite a bit of content covered. Uh, we will, in there you cover React.js you cover React and Redux, uh, and then of course uh, React Native. So you're and you're gonna have three projects built out by it, as well as uh, mentors along the way and that type of stuff. So it's a $500 flat rate. This was actually the first course slash program I've ever paid for. I uh, some people are pretty surprised to know that I've never bought one course on Udacity or Udemy ever. Um, to my detriment, probably I probably would have learned a lot more a lot quicker if I did. And I wanted to, I've been, I've been kind of blazing my own path with self-learning for so long that I sort of see React being the, I need to supplement my, my work learning with additional market skills that are out there. And React is the one that I'm trying to add right now. And uh, luckily, having already been a developer, I can, I can spend that money on on something that I think will give me a better return. I could probably go about it doing other courses and just like the ones we're talking about, you know, they, he's got 15,000 ratings on this course for a reason, right? Uh, but I've, I actually wanted to go down a very structured path. I wanted to do the nano degree program uh, so that I could review it as well. So it kind of adds some content there and give a very honest feedback. If you're not familiar with the nano degree program, uh, in the past, this isn't one of them, but in the past, they actually have a flat monthly rate one, like a full stack one for $300 a month. And what's cool about that is if you complete the program, they guarantee you a job. They guarantee it or your money back. So it's pretty much zero, zero risk as far as I'm concerned. And if you can't commit to a boot camp, you can't commit to a CS degree, I think that's probably your next best bet. You can also, of course, do courses, but I think sometimes people need something a little bit more structured. And when they guarantee you a job, I don't know how you can really uh, argue with that. But it is it is a lot of money, especially when most people who are trying to learn code are trying to just do better, right? Do better because things aren't going too well. I know if you asked me why I was delivering pizzas, if I could spend $300 on a course, I'd laugh in your face. <laughs> so, so it's definitely times have changed slightly and I, I totally understand, man. Uh, but that that's uh, back to React. So what really attracted me to React is React Native. I'm, I'm really intrigued to, to be able to build an application uh, for the web and compile it into an Android or iOS app, which is my understanding of React Native, as uh, as well as 
just a more lightweight thing than Angular. Uh, the last month or so, eh, maybe two, three weeks, I've been jumping back between learning React, learning Angular 4, learning React, learning Angular 4. And what, what I was finding was that all the free online resources are outdated, and there's a lot more, and I, I kind of do need a path on where to go and where to learn and what to learn. And... And uh, I, my hope is that this nano degree program is as up to date as possible. <laughs> I'm really upset if it's not. I think it is. It's a new new program. I can't imagine that they're going to be teaching stuff that's three, six months, nine months old, right? And web development, that's a common problem, right? Where you want to, you need to learn a lot in web development because it's always changing, right? One minute, Bower is the, mo the best package manager. Before you know it, Bower's redirecting you to go use Webpack and shit like that, right? So it's it's a little bit crazy and it can change on a dime. And that's kind of what, why I'm, I'm going with React on that same notation where before Angular was vi was dominating the market, Angular JS at some point in terms of the front end frameworks. And they made a big transition in Angular 2 and there's this sort of, hey, Angular 2 is an alpha, and and uh, most people are like, shit, we don't want to start Angular JS. That's going to be deprecating in a year project. So let's go into a different direction. And React gained more market share, and people realized, wow, this view only library is really, really helpful. And uh, mind you, I, I know very little about React other than playing with it for about a weekend. But I liked what I saw, and I, I enjoyed it. And from what I've seen looking at the job market, uh, the React developers are paid very well uh, and are in very high demand, be which is another reason that I'm, I'm very attracted to it to kind of supplement my learning with work in case, you know, whatever can happen does happen. I'm, I'm a little bit paranoid about that, so I'm always trying to study and make sure that that's never an issue. But uh, anyhow, so that that's my two cents about React. I, I definitely wanted to give a shout out, not that he needs it, to uh, Steven Greider, who uh, is killing it in the uh, the Udemy game, and who was nice enough to donate a copy of his course so that we could give away on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday video. And if you're ever confused about what videos are going to be on there, and that's Monday, Wednesday, my time Eastern. But uh, I know uh, half my audience is in a different part of the world. So you can just basically keep an eye out for videos that aren't algorithm based for the next 20 to 35 days. Because uh, I'll have an algorithm video for Code Fights coming out on the days that isn't a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, the Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos are typically going to be, you know, let's talk sort of uh, advice oriented or topic oriented or. Um, experience oriented videos as long as they're not a sponsored video as monday's video was we'll be giving away a course so uh, thank you to him thank you for watching the video that's my thoughts on react and why i am dishing out for my first course instead of going for like a five dollar course for some reason i'm doing a five hundred dollar course but i want i want the structure i want to be able to evaluate the program and and give feedback so that you guys who you know when you are scraping together your your money and five hundred dollars is your last five hundred dollars i can tell you if it was worth it and what i got out of it and or you can at least make your own judgment for what i got out of it and give you a clear explanation about what it is and what its value delivered so that that's my thoughts guys don't forget to join our facebook group code tech and caffeine and if you want to support me at patreon.com slash coding tutorials 360 it is appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to use the word react and like the video if you want to win the course. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.